Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing who are you going to be in a relationship with next? Who is your future partner? What's the relationship going to be like? So we're going to do a tea leaf reading today and we have some cards here as well. So we have group number one with the orange cup, group number two with the purple cup and group number three with a green cup. So please choose your group now. So starting off with group number one with the orange cup. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading, so let's zoom you in. Hello group number one, thank you so much for being here. So first of all, we're going to look into your little cup and then we're going to do your cards, okay? So we're going to put those over to the side for just a second. Okay, let's have a look at your cup and let's see what's going on. Okay, so let's just give it a little tap -a rooney Let's see what's going on. Oh wow, that really changed it, okay. Okay, so what I'm seeing is you may have had three people in your life or three long-term relationships that kind of were quite messy. I'm seeing quite messy and messy because I've got tea all over my all over my board here. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you in and so you can see. Okay, so let's see if we can focus right in the middle. There we go. Okay, so what I'm seeing is... Okay, so I'm seeing for you guys, I'm hearing oceans of potential. So the next relationship you're going to have is going to feel really, really open. You're going to be very vulnerable with this person. I see that your angels are waiting for you, helping you. And I say waiting for you because they're waiting for you to meet your person. Okay, I'm seeing one of those little face things that you can get. I'll put a picture up on the screen here so you can see what I'm talking about. But I feel like you guys might need a little bit of self-care to kind of bring you into this receiving energy of this person coming in, okay? So let's see if we've got any kind of symbolism here. All right. I'm not seeing anything massively right now. I'm seeing this, I think that's kind of what you're, you're saying. I feel like you're saying like, oh, I'm not really seeing anything like massively right now. Um, and obviously the orange is to do the solar plexus and the sacral chakra here. So I feel like for you guys, you're gonna manifest um, confidence and then you're gonna manifest your person. Okay, let's give it another little tap. So I'm seeing the world here. I feel like you guys are gonna meet your person in a worldly sense. So they could be somebody from quite far away. I'm hearing you've waited very long for this person and I'm seeing there's like lots of greenery around you when you meet this person so that could be extra clarification. I see there's children playing here and I'm also seeing like a goat or like a dog so if you guys you could be living on a farm or you could manifest a dog with this person. It does feel like sheep might be your like spirit animal it could be sheep or goats or your like little spirit animal so just keep that in mind. Um, I see that you guys have some of you guys are mothers and you have children already, possibly a, a little toddler. I'm seeing like a woman in with a like a carriage, kind of like a, I have no idea, literally the word has gone out of my mind. With a pushchair, wheeling a baby in a pushchair. So I'm seeing you guys might meet this person around a time when you feel free. So that's all they're telling me, not saying really anything too specific. I'm seeing you guys are quite insecure about your hips or your bum or your legs or your thighs um embrace them embrace who you are embrace what all your imperfections and your flaws because in today they're not imperfections or flaws i'm seeing like a kangaroo so that could also be a symbolism for this uh a relationship as well this is somebody who's definitely older than you or they act older they're somebody who's quite mature they could be a cancerian i'm picking up on they have quite small eyes but they're very intense they have quite a small nose as well or a nose that just is very appealing on their face that's what just what they're saying um so you guys might be i don't this is very random but you guys might be playing that shock game with this person or a group of people and then that's how you meet them it's kind of like you're with a group of friends and you're playing a game uh with the group and that you're doing this game it could be you meet them at university or in a group setting i'm seeing you guys putting your hands on this lever and it's like shocking you like a game of like shock sort of thing um just for funsies i feel like you guys are gonna have so much play in this relationship it's gonna feel very very light very gentle getting very strong Piscean and kind of water sign vibes. For you guys, you might want to be getting your lips done or you might be doing something to your lips, so maybe like buying some new lipstick or something. 
And I feel like you guys think that because of, this is like a very general message, like because of COVID, I'm seeing someone actually wearing a mask here. Um, so for COVID, you may feel like you're not gonna meet anyone, but that is the complete opposite. They're saying you'll meet somebody because of that, because of the awakening, because of people waking up. That is literally what I'm hearing. So it, a lot of it is kind of to do with insecurities. A lot of you guys have quite dark hair, like dark brown curly hair. Or you could meet someone with dark brown curly hair or a beard, like quite a thick black or dark brown beard. Um, is there anything else? I'm seeing dolphins as well. Dolphins could be a very big synchronicity and jump rope. Like I see you guys like jump rope, skipping. I think that's it. Some of you guys might have curly hair as well and you might be quite insecure about it. That's what I'm seeing. Some of you guys might also be Christian or kind of come out of Christianity into more of a spiritual energy. All right, so that is your cup. I hope you like that reading. Let's zoom you out and let's get the cards. Okay, so let's have a look at your cards. So we have the cards from this deck and some cards from this deck. These are zodiac signs. These are just normal. So let's see what we have. First, let's see more about this person. Who are they? Oh, we have excitement. I love that. Okay, we have defense. We have manipulation. And we have concentration. So for you guys, you might be very concentrated on your work life right now. You might kind of be thinking, oh, I don't really want anyone. Or oh, I'm not too bothered. Like, they can come in whenever. It's funny how I got the lips here because I was picking up on that quite strongly. So for you guys, it's more about speaking your truth. I feel like you're going to feel very excited when you meet this person. And you're going to come out of manipulation and feel like you might feel, you might feel a little bit insecure when you meet this person, first of all, because you may have gone through quite a lot of manipulation and kind of being a bit defensive around it. So I feel like that's going to majorly change around for you. This person is quite a concentrated person, so they're quite an intense personality. They could be, we've got Gemini, we've got Scorpio here, we've got Taurus as well. And there's somebody who, when they speak, it's very, very powerful. They have a very, very powerful voice. And what they say is just extremely powerful, okay? So, oh, we have Libra. We have Taurus and we have Scorpio. Beautiful. So that's just clarifying what I already said. So for this person, it's going to be quite an intense person. They're going to be somebody who has quite a lot of personality, I'm hearing. I'm actually going to put the cards over here so you can see them a bit better. Um, I feel like this person has a lot of energy. There's somebody who will constantly do stuff all the time uh, with you. And there's somebody who will just constantly like to keep moving. They're not so much a workaholic, but there's somebody who definitely likes to work a lot and they're going to prioritize you in their work as well so i'm just they're saying just look at the cup for a second and let's see let's have a look over here so this section here where the handle is this is the self and the home for some of you guys you're feeling quite distant from your home you might be away from your home or your country and i'm hearing if, when you return or when you come back to home even like in like an emotional sense or physically that's when you're going to meet them. When you start to feel more safer, I'm hearing. That was just an extra message they wanted me to say. So that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. I also have a lot. The last message is you're going to get more balance and stability in your relationships. And that's how you're going to meet them as well. So thank you so much. Uh, if you would like a private reading, all my information is down below. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see who you're going to be in a relationship with next. And I also have some cards here, but we're going to look into those in just a second. Also, apologies for the cup looking a bit kind of gross. I do not drink out of these cups. They are just for show. So they've probably been on my shelf for quite a long time. So I'm sorry if you can see like dirt or anything like that in the cup. Okay, so let's zoom you in. Alrighty, so let's see what's going on for you guys. The one message that I'm really seeing is you guys are going to be really happy in this relationship. I'm seeing you like literally jumping for joy and just being really, 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 really happy. Okay, some of you guys might be taking the coil as well. For some of you guys who have baby making organs, they say. <laughs> okay, that's just tapping, see if anything else wants to move. Nope, we're all good. Okay, so solid relationship here. Feeling very, very solid, very, very comfortable. Feeling like you can really be yourself around this person. I'm seeing the letter T, so T could be very significant in this relationship. Um, it could be even tea, like drinking tea. You could drink tea with them on the first date. So let's have a look at, first of all, the self and the home. This is the section here that's around the kind of the, um, the little 
the handle here. So this is the self in the home. This section here just represents the self in the home. So as you can see, there's an energy of like it pointing upwards towards and opposite the self in the home. So the more you take more risks and the more you do things differently and just embrace who you are, the more you're gonna have much more confidence and feeling much more safe around who you are, okay? So I feel like for you guys, in the near future, you're gonna meet somebody and they feel quite far away right now. It could be that you meet them on a boat. It could be that you meet them around the boat and the sea. Feels like a water sign I'm picking up on, doesn't have to be. I'm also picking up on the film Narnia with the uh, man who's also a horse. I'm picking up on those sort of creatures. There's a lot of scattered energy. You feel, you're feeling quite scattered at the moment and you're feeling like you can't really approach your love life or you feel like your love life is very far away. Just knowing that it is gonna get better. And I feel like around um, fireworks night in the UK, so it's the 5th of November, and also just when they, you have fireworks, you might meet this person or you might feel like fireworks when you meet them. I see nature being really prominent in your relationship as well. So going out and walking will be really, really good for you guys. Um, I'm seeing a cave. You may be feeling caved in right now, feeling very overwhelmed, but also there may be like a cave around where you live. And that's kind of a, sim a symbol, just kind of a representation. So take it as it resonates. I'm seeing up to five children with this relationship. So take it as it resonates. I say up to, because you could have one, you could have five, you know, or you could already have children. And when, or like you could already have children and they don't, or you both have children, then you would come together and have that big relationship with each other. So I feel like you guys are putting a lot of pressure on your future. I feel like you are putting a lot of pressure on getting everything in order and getting everything sorted. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. Everything will come in divine timing and everything will be sorted for you, okay? So don't even worry about it. There is literally nothing to worry about. Everything is coming together. I'm hearing you have eyes on you and also I'm seeing you wearing glasses. So you might be wearing glasses or the person might be wearing glasses, very attractive person here. I'm seeing a masculine or a male who has brown hair with glasses, green eyes. Doesn't have to be, that's just for some of you. For those of you who are attracting in a woman, same thing, just obviously womanly features. And I'm seeing you guys have been treading, you feel like you've been treading through water. You feel like you've been treading quite hard things and feeling like you've been treading kind of mud, feel like you've been treading mud essentially, like you can't get anywhere. Things are building up so they can expand so you can really release what you need to release. And you're, you're starting to come to a more stable ground and feeling more stable and comfortable with who you are. So just prepare yourself because I feel like this person's coming in quite soon and getting five months for some of you. And I'm seeing you guys to, uh, you might be born in the year of the rat. And I'm also seeing hamsters and things and guinea pigs here. So that could be clarification. I'm also seeing like quite a dark colored bird. So it could be like a black bird or an owl. I don't know if you can get black owls, but I'm seeing like a dark animal. And it feels like the dark night of the soul. There's still a little bit of shadow work going on there. So for some of you guys, it's gonna resonate. For others of you, you're like, well, I've done enough shadow work. If you feel like you've done enough shadow work, there's no problem here. But obviously there's no problem anyway. But if there is some shadow work that needs to be done, I do see that you're gonna be working on that and really working through whatever blockages or situation you need to work through to get to your partner. But I see for some of you guys, you've been waiting a very long time. For those of you who's recently just broken up with somebody, I don't see you being with anyone for another two to three years, okay? So let's get started with your reading and let's zoom you out and get some cards. Okay, so as I said, I feel like you guys are very outdoorsy, this group. I feel like you're gonna be a very outdoorsy couple. You're gonna like, I'm hearing you're gonna make things outdoors as well. So I feel like you're you're very connected to nature, very connected to Mother Earth Gaia. And I feel like you might be backpacking with this person and look out for hawks and big, kind of big birds of prey. They're gonna be a really big synchronicity. So I'm gonna have a look at the yellow cards first. We're gonna see what wants to come out. So let's see about this relationship. We have criticism, Mars in Virgo. We have Inheritance, Scorpio. We have Negotiation, Libra, and Isolation, Virgo. Okay, so for some of you guys, you are very introverted. You really like to be alone, or you like to be on your own, or you have been on your own for a very long time. You feel like you've had to almost negotiate with the universe to try and get where you wanna go. That is not how it works. They're saying that's not how it works. You just need to let go of the control. And I know how hard it is for some of you guys to do that, because I know from personal experience, it is hard but you guys are really gonna manifest somebody and no need for pushing or pulling, it's just gonna happen very naturally. So you guys have felt very isolated in your homes recently or just for quite a long time, even without the virus, it's just, it's been quite a few years, you just felt very isolated and 
and kind of like when is my person coming it's all about timing guys and don't be hard on yourself if you can't if this person isn't coming in the timing that you think because at the end of the day it's all about how you are working with your own emotions and how you're dealing with your masculine and your feminine energies within you how you're asserting yourself but also how you're being really kind to yourself so for some of you guys I see that you're going to have a very cozy relationship your PDA is going to be kept to a minimum so personal displays of affection are going to be in like you know the little corner of the house and stuff like under covers sort of thing and also your intimate kind of uh life is going to be very private as well very virgo energy from this group and this person might have a bit of money they might want to uh build and um, build here uh, words i'm hearing build an empire with you build houses they might even you guys might build a house together you might build like a little shed a little summer house um, but I'm seeing this person loves to build and bring things together. So I wouldn't be surprised if one of these cards is Virgo. So it's very, very strong kind of practical energy. And this person is also very hard on themselves. They're learning to speak their truth. They see things very clearly with people. And they're learning to kind of bring in this energy of I can do this and I am going to manifest my person. It's just really working with that energy um, and not feeling so lost. I feel like you guys are going to feel less lost when you move house as well. Okay, so let's see what star signs wants to come through. We have Pisces, we have Aquarius, ooh, and we also have, yep, there we go, Virgo. I knew it. I knew Virgo was going to come out. I love that. Let's put that little guy there. So very strong energy around expansion and just being your whole authentic self, building things together and feeling very practical. Both you guys are very... Uh, specific so when you meet your person it's going to be the exact right person it's going to feel so 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 good and it's going to feel so so amazing and beautiful and outstanding and you both are going to feel very very balanced and really in tune with each other and the way you see yourself is is so 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 important and I'm hearing the way you see yourself is so much more important than how other people see you okay so just be aware of that and you're going to manifest somebody who's so authentically themselves so you're going to be authentically yourself and you're going to no longer be isolated okay I feel like for you guys who you are just overthinkers so you may feel like you're isolated a lot when actually you're not there's a lot of people who love you so let people in and this person's going to really love you when you let them in and, and yeah just be be very very kind to yourself and know that no matter, amount of pushing is going to push this further you just got to be patient and we have the number six seven and eight so they could be very strong numbers for you i'm also seeing a black cat i'm getting very drawn to guinea pigs in this group i don't know why so and owls and, and animals and kind of caring nurturing vet veterinary kind of energy so thank you so much for watching guys um, i'm also hearing you guys might be a nurse or you're in kind of like a healing energy like not healing energy well yes yeah, the healing energy but also like a healing uh you're like a healing practitioner a nurse um a midwife something like that um and this person's going to really appreciate that caring energy that you have and they they could also be a musician or somebody who works in the, who is in the public eye quite popular person so thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below if you'd like to check out my crystal shop all that information is also down below don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up let me know that you like it and subscribe down below thank you so much for being here and i'll speak to you soon bye hello group number three let's get started with your reading let's see what's going on for you so we have the cards here but first of all we're going to look at your cup and we're going to see what wants to come through so let's get started let's zoom you in all right group number three let's get started with your reading i have lots of tea everywhere tea is being spilled <laughs> okay so let's get started with your reading let's see what's going on so let's give this a good old tap see if anything that wants to move okay pretty solid so very very solid relationship a lot of you guys have felt kind of in the dust like you can't manifest the things that you want you can't manifest and attract your relationship but just know that that's going to change okay you're going to start to feel much more confident within yourself and you're going to feel like things are back on track so lots of earthy energy from this group i'm sensing a lot of like <clears throat> excuse me taurus and virgo vibes and capricorn that sort of thing very practical people i feel like you guys really like to work a lot you like to have practical goals so i feel like that's what's coming in um, I see for some of you guys you felt like quite drowned and quite uncomfortable so you're going to be able to come out of the energy feeling really clear and flourished it just feels like at the moment a bit uncomfortable but that's okay you're going to start to feel much more comfortable very very soon 
Okay, so in terms of what I'm seeing, we do have quite a few kind of like a big clump going on here. So let me just see. So I'm hearing when worlds collide and we also have a, the sun here as well being represented. We have like a tiny little circle in here, which is showing me it's all about energy, it's power, success and new beginnings. So for you guys, you could be manifesting a Leo. This is somebody who's very successful. They like to work really, really hard. I'm also seeing children. I'm specifically seeing a girl, a little girl. So you guys could be manifesting a little girl who is going to be the absolute apple of your eye, which is so cute. I never say that. So that's definitely from spirit. I love that. And we kind of have a little bit of a fuller circle segment here, which represents do not disturb. So for you guys, you are pretty much in hermit mode right now. Your person is in hermit mode and you're pretty much needing to just be by yourself. I'm also seeing a cross here, which could be anchor, which could be about like an anchor. It could be to do with stability, um, difficulty and change, but it could also be an arrow, which shows me it's kind of direction and up and down. And basically an up arrow is all about yes and good direction. So you guys are basically, the arrow is being pointed towards the sun. So it's saying all the energy that you're putting in right now towards your work, towards your career, your mental health, it is all going somewhere. It is all working. It's becoming a new beginning. You just got to trust yourself. Okay. You just got to trust and know that things will change for you. So I'm also seeing something to do with your eyes. Hearing your eyes might change colour. So you might be trying on contacts. You might be wearing different makeup, something like that. Is there anything else that wants to show up here? I'm also seeing like ovaries, which just points me towards like menstrual cycle. So you guys might be getting your period soon. It might be to also to do with, obviously, if you have those organs. Um, but it also kind of just reminds me of just feminine power and how beautiful feminine power is and how strong it is and how strong you are. And also it's to do with feeling protected because the ovaries are protection. When we when we tune into our womb space, or it's kind of like grounding, when we tune into our womb space, which is really good also if you do film YouTube videos or you are kind of on camera or you need to do a presentation, if you take like a second to just tune into your womb space, it can create such a nicer atmosphere for the people that you're doing the, uh, the presentation for or you know, that sort of thing. I feel like some of you guys like broccoli or some of you guys really don't like broccoli. That's what I'm hearing. And yet the womb space is being very, very comforted. Feeling, getting in your safe space is what's going to really help you with this energy. Um, feeling like, yeah, I feel like some of you guys are feeling very strong, very stable. Things are starting to unravel. Things are a bit muggy right now, feeling a little bit unclear, but things are going to start to reveal themselves very soon. You guys might be getting a cat. Um... You might also be get your eyes might be getting clearer, which is what I'm hearing. So it could be like health wise or literally you're seeing things clearer. You're seeing you're seeing the something for the trees. I don't know what the saying is, but if you guys know it, please comment down below what it is because I'm having a brain fog right now, which is what you guys might be having as well. I'm seeing a little fish here too. So Pisces energy quite strongly. Uh, I'm also um, hearing the scene from Finding Nemo where Finding Nemo where Dala comes in. So Finding Nemo might be quite a, a really nice kind of um, message for you guys. It might be something that you watch with your person. I'm seeing a heart here as well. Just very, very beautiful energy. Okay, so that's your reading, guys, in that section. Let's get your cards. Let's zoom you out. All right, let's get your cards. So first cards out we have are Endurance, Choice, Versatility, and influence. So the first thing I saw when I saw the endurance was strength, the strength card in tarot. So I feel like for you guys, it's very much about your strength and how you're asserting your power. And you guys have been through so much. You've been through quite a lot of difficult energies with your love life. It's been quite uncomfortable, but you guys are being influenced by quite a few positive people. And I feel like definitely who you surround yourself with is so damn important. So just be very aware of that and not to be guided by snakes or um, okay, five different messages came in my mind. Okay, first one is that you guys, um, not to be swayed by people who are snakes, not be swayed by people who are talking bad about you, gossiping about you, telling you you're this, you're that. Just focus on who you are and understand and know <clears throat> who you are. It could be about communication as well, because this is Mercury and Libra. So people could be talking crap about you, but just shrug it off. Um, take it as constructive criticism is what I'm hearing. So another thing I'm hearing is to not be a people pleaser. Some of you guys that could be resonating, if not, 
yeah, it's just going to be for some of you. So take it as it resonates, as this is a general reading. So the people pleasing energy here is showing me that you have to, you feel like the need to change yourself or you automatically change yourself whenever there's somebody around. You just need to be yourself. And I know how scary that can be. I know it can be very scary, but you're very versatile. You can really blend into any environment and feel comfortable in that environment. And even if it's a very different environment from what you're used to, say it's like work life or uh, a group you're going to, you just gotta be yourself because you have what it takes to give to that group. You know, you are yourself so you can give that, that unique energy to it. And we have choice. So give yourself the choice of, love and acceptance and bring in and, and know you do have choice in your love life and it may not feel like it but the choice is your direction and also what you're giving to yourself how much you give into yourself and we have the sun in scorpio we have mercury libra we have mars libra and we have sun in gemini so these could be any sort of um areas around your chart or around the person's chart that you are kind of manifesting and I feel like for some of you guys you felt like you really have to protect your body some of you guys might feel very very insecure about your body but just know that this person will love you for who you are and I'm seeing for some of you guys you could actually meet this person in one month but some of you it could be one year okay it just depends honestly I was going to say for something but it just honestly it just depends on the situation okay um and I'm hearing like five stars so it could be like you go to like a five star hotel with this person um, you, you're going to start to endure much more, um, I'm hearing complications within work, but if you do that, um, and if you do, it, it's bringing you towards releasing anything old in your work life. That's for some of you guys. If you're really suffering in your work life, it's going to shift and it's going to bring you to a more authentic place, which is so beautiful. Look out for roses, very, very strong energy. And I'm hearing, I mean, we have roses here. We have a rose here. We have a rose here. Very much do that Libra energy. So you guys could have Libra quite strong in your chart. But also it's about beauty. It's about how you assert yourself and how you see yourself. And it's all about seeing yourself with this beautiful energy. And and with roses, they, are, they have thorns and knowing that everyone has thorns, but they also are very beautiful in their own way as well. So just acknowledge that you don't have to be perfect to be loved, okay? You don't have to be this amazing, outstanding person, but you are. You're just not maybe seeing it right now, but you will very soon. And know that you have various amounts of skills. So if you want to change your career or you want to change maybe even who you're interested in, and I mean, the more we heal, the more we, we get attracted to different people. Because especially if we are kind of working with our shadows and energy, we can actually manifest people who are the same. You know, they, they are also working with their shadows, very negative, narcissistic people. So basically your attraction and who you're attracted to will change over time. And it's going to be a very healthy kind of situation. Also, you guys have four cards. OK, so we have Capricorn. We have Cancer. Oh, I like that combination. Very nice. Very nice. We then have Leo. And we also have Aries. So you guys could be meeting a water, earth or fire sign. This is kind of reminding me of a rainbow. So I feel like you guys are just going to have a rainbow synchronicity. I'm really noticing the curves and the kind of like the patterns of things. So that's probably what you're going to be saying. You're going to be like, oh, I'm realizing what my patterns are. I'm realizing what I'm doing to possibly push away love or bring in love what am I doing you know and for you guys you're really bouncing out your creativity you're able to really communicate with yourself number three obviously Gemini Gemini is to uh, communication but also number three is about creativity it's about really expressing yourself so this person is kind of doing their own thing and I feel like that's what you're going to be able to do you're going to be able to express yourself creatively and it's going to bring in a really beautiful relationship and it could be through work it could be through emotional healing it could be through just strength or all three of those things and you guys feel like you might need to cut back on the weeds that's what I'm hearing you guys might need to weed and prune your garden could mean literally but also it could be to do mentally you could need a bit of meditation maybe a counseling therapy anything like that and yeah just that you're the leader of your own life and knowing that this will manifest very soon so amazing energy guys and I feel like for some of you guys you're you're definitely an earth sign who's watching this I'm really picking up on a Taurus so um yeah very beautiful you take a lot of pride in your garden and in your kind of like your plants and things so you're going to manifest somebody who also does and also in cooking I feel like so you guys are really big cooks like when I say big cooks, I mean like you just absolutely love food, you love cooking, you love 
creating recipes and mixing things together you love that and some of you guys actually do that with oils essential oils and just mixing things together and making things so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this reading don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe down below let me know that you like this video if you like a private reading or you want to check out my crystal shop then all the information is down below thank you so much for being here and i'll speak to you soon bye